Today was the last day for the Logan Avenue High V in Waterloo and the First Avenue High V in Cedar Rapids. Both stores have now closed their doors for good, leaving a huge gap for residents of those neighborhoods. KWWL reporter David Warrington now has more on the closures and how those cities are working to help residents who relied on the stores. High V locations along Logan Avenue in Waterloo and First Avenue in Cedar Rapids are officially closed, delivering a big blow to areas that are already low on grocery options. Cedar Rapids Mayor Tiffany O'Donnell said finding a replacement is a top priority. One thing I can assure you know, people, certainly in that neighborhood, that the city continues to have this as a top priority. I mean, our, we continue to have urgency in finding a replacement. We can't have a food desert in that neighborhood. So whether we find a replacement for that, that exact facility or, or something nearby, it is of utmost importance to us. Waterloo Mayor Quentin Hart expressed a similar sentiment in light of the closure. Just like Cedar Rapids, just like Davenport, uh, all of us are disappointed that uh, Hy-Vee is being removed from areas where people really need it from food deserts. Last month, Hy-Vee announced plans to close the location, saying the stores did not meet financial expectations across the past several years. Mayor Hart encouraged people to continue supporting all in grocers, but said the city is also working to bring another grocery store to the area. The area that they left has seen over 30, 40 something millions worth of reinvestment that has taken place over the last two years. And so we want to continue that momentum. And I'm optimistic uh, that we will be able to find and attract. Uh, another grocer that wants to come to that area. Mayor O'Donnell said that Cedar Rapids is also all in on finding a replacement. We've had conversations with multiple national retailers about that location, as well as one regional operator. Everything is on the table. And I think the, the city continues to show a willingness to, to get creative. All right, David, thanks. Hy-Vee has announced some steps they plan to take in an effort to ease the impact of the store closures on those communities. The company is offering free transportation to the nearest Hy-Vee store from each location three days a week, as well as free grocery deliveries to those within a one-mile radius.